it's the morning of surgery and Riley is just looking at me like, uh, mama, are you going to give me breakfast? Uh, I know. I was trying to explain the situation to her. Say, you can't have breakfast because they have to put you under anesthesia. You have to have an empty belly. I know. I'm sorry, honey bun. You're getting your surgery today, okay? You know how you've been limping and it's been hurting? Yeah. We're going to do surgery on that leg today to make it better. I know. I'm not going to lie, girlfriend. It's going to suck at first. But I'm committed to do all the exercises and everything necessary to get you back on your feet and doing great, girlfriend. I'm sorry you can't have your foods. I'm sorry, kiddo. I know he's a hungry girlfriend. I know. I love you, kiddo. I'm sorry. Riley has a lot of anxiety in the car in general, so she's already panting and all worked up, but I have to take her in for surgery. It's alright, girl. girl. Look at that tongue. Oh my gosh. You're okay, girl. It's gonna be alright, honey. She gets so nervous in the car. Oh, are you okay? So this is the night after surgery. We're at home, all settled in. This is the setup we're dealing with. We got her little padded cone. She's doing pretty well. Um, I was actually surprised when I picked her up from the vet that she was walking pretty well on three legs. She wasn't putting her you know, injured leg down at all, but she was walking well on three legs. I had the impression that we were going to have to carry her out of the building, but she walked on three legs, which was pretty good. Um, so I have her little bed and her blankies. So she's going to stay in this pen for, you know, eight weeks at least. Um, I have this sling that I'm going to use, put under her belly to help her when she goes out. I put down these mats, kind of like no slip type mats. So we're going to do, this is how I'm going to take her out. Usually we go out the back door on the porch and there's four steps down into the yard. But this is one step down into the landing, one step down into the garage. And then out the door. Excuse all the wood. Recently had basement renovations, but so that's how we're gonna take her out this path right here. Nice having a little bit more food. I gave her food about two hours ago, so this is a little bit more. And putting an ice pack on the incision. This is the first night of surgery, after surgery. She ate that food pretty quick. <laughs> she definitely has a good appetite, so that's, that's always good. This is the first day after surgery. I called the vet, make sure I should be starting the passive range of motion exercises um, today, the day after surgery. Um, and they said it was okay to start doing like five repetitions each. So I watched videos online um, <laughs> before I started doing it because I was pretty nervous about it. So I did the range of motion exercises and now I'm icing the incision for 10 minutes. Riley's being a pretty good sport about it. Um, we just went out to, um, she went pee before this. And then I did a passive range of motion and then I'm doing the icing. And I gave her her main pain medication about two hours ago, so... She doesn't really seem like she's in pain um, as I'm doing all of this to her, so she's being a pretty good sport, thankfully. This morning, day two, Riley's ankle looks swollen. Which I don't know if you can kind of see that, but yeah, it looks swollen. But they warned you about that, and they said it's normal, and they also said it will resolve itself over time, but that it helps to massage the foot. Um, starting from the toes. So I'm just going to do that with her right now and then I'm going to massage her foot up to her leg. And then I'm going to ice it. 
iced, iced the incision. There's the better shot of her swollen ankle on D2. And there's her incision. It's looking good. But the vet did warn about the swollen ankle, so I'm not as worried about it as I would be if they didn't warn me about it. So they said massaging helps and that it typically will just go away on its own. No, nope, don't lick. She's touching her foot to the ground. Today, July 14th, is Riley's ninth birthday. Happy birthday, girl. I'm sorry you have to be a cone head on your birthday. I'm sorry, honey. But we gotta make sure you don't lick that incision, okay? For her birthday, I bought her a brand new knee. <laughs> She's doing really well. Still some swelling and bruising, clearly, but the incision looks good and she's doing well with uh, all the exercises that I'm doing on her leg so she's being a really good sport and she seems still seems like happy she doesn't have as much energy I think because the pain pills make her a bit sleepy but other than that she seems happy and normal really happy birthday Riley I love you good girl I'm going to do Riley's exercises for the night, and my cat Mia is always here outside the, the gate, the pen. She wants to come in and play with us. Mia, you think you're missing out on some fun? Do you want Mia to come in here? <laughs> no. This is your area, huh, baby? You're such a sweetie pie. You're a sweet little girl. See if we can take a look at her incision. Don't look at <laughs> her incision. Her incision looks really good, honestly. I honestly just like to lay with Riley in the cage. Give her some company. Let her know how much Mama loves her, and she gets some time with the cone off when I'm in here with her. Otherwise, I put the cone on just to be on the safe side because I do not want her to get to the incision. Riley's kind of fighting me today when I tried to do her exercises. She fought me this morning, so I only did a few, and now it's midday, and I'm trying to do some more, and she's kind of fighting me. I gave her some peanut butter in her Kong to try and make her, um, like, let me do it, but I don't know. She's still kind of, like, resisting. Like, when I try to pull her leg, she's kind of resisting. I don't know. I don't want to force it. And see how her legs, her muscles kind of, like, quivering? So, I don't know. I might try to only do like a few, like slowly, like slower than I normally was. But she sure does love her peanut butter. This is day five post-op. Riley's standing and putting some weight on her foot as she eats her dinner.